Zenless Zone Zero tier list. Yes, I know you love them. We love them. So today, I will give you my opinion and try to provide you with the best value I learned over time about each character. But before you hammer me with comments and say that you don't like how I rated XYZ character, one thing you need to understand is that a lot of these agents are going to evolve over time. Some agents get much better when you get multiple copies of them and can provide more value to the team. For example, Anton. If you get the fourth Mindscape Cinema, aka copy, it gives 12% crit chance to the whole team. Another great example here for the two players that main Billy, yeah, a 4 star main DPS, and in general for those who play any other 4 star main DPS, there's a very good chance for the 4 star to always be lower. It's just how it is, in every game ever a 4 star DPS will not last long and won't be able to complete to compete in the long term with the new units, unlike support characters or stun units which tend to be better at lasting longer. And obviously the 5 star or better said S ranks in this game, they're just the cherry on top. So keep that in mind. I'll also try to give you a couple of pros and cons with each character. Let's jump into this. Starting with the overpowered supreme DPSs. We have Ellen Joe, an amazing ice DPS with some of the best damage in the game, self buffs built in her kit and amazing mobility. Pair her with Lycon, for example, and you have an amazing team for a very long time. The reason why is that Lycon has an ice resistance shred and a boosted stun rate. Next, we have Zhu Yuan. Zhu Yuan is the highest burst DPS during stun windows in the game currently, and she also has a very strong free to play friendly support, Nicole. Next up, our newest anomaly DPS, Bernice. She can be played both main DPS and sub DPS, and she's very easy to play and she's also ideal for burn and disordered focus teams. Jane Doe, another overpowered anomaly DPS with incredible mobility and 3 dashes. If Ellen Joe, the shark girl, wasn't fast enough, this Jane Doe is the flash of the Zenless Zone Zero. She has also strong damage both in her burst windows and outside of it, making her viable for the whole combat. Alright, S tier DPS is now. Soldier 11, incredibly easy playstyle once you learn her. Her passive and bonus ability give free damage that doesn't require you to do anything besides unlocking it. Followed up by Grace, fast combos can be paired with another DPS for great shock damage and Piper, she deals good damage with her charged spinning EX attack. The only thing with uh, Grace and Piper is that they compete directly with the other DPSs and lose in damage numbers over time. But if you don't have anything else and you just started, just build what you got. The game is not that hard either ways, if you have the right team combination. Alright, B tier now. We have Anton, which I told you at the very beginning of the video, if you get a couple of copies you can unlock more of him, extra shield, extra energy regen, plus the crit rate for the whole team. We have Billy, a unit that comes free, which is quite mobile and easy to understand, and Nekomata. She has great AoE coverage with her ultimate, chain and dodge counter, allowing you to clear very easy and fast multiple targets. And lastly in F, I've put Corin. She does well with stun team comps and she is also good when paired with Lycon, but on the flip side her entire kit is built around dealing uh, the majority of her damage while the enemy is stunned, so yeah, for the rest of the combat she'll be down in numbers. All right. These were all our DPS's from head to tails, top to bottom of the tier list. Let's have a look at the supports and stun agents now. One of the best supports in the game right now is Caesar. She has huge refreshable shields with anti-interruption, massive attack buff with near permanent uptime. So basically as long as she's swapping in, casting her buffs and her shield, you're good to go. And you can basically put her in any other team. Then we have Kingi. A very strong daze character with multiple damage reductions, anti-interrupt buffs and immunities throughout her kit. She also applies amazing damage amplification during the stun window, allowing burst DPSs to reach new heights, for example Zhu Yuan. And you can also use her in any other team. Next up, S tier supports and stuns. In this tier list we have Lycon with ice shred and boosted stun rates, Lucy, the girl with 3 pets that stays on the field at all time when she's not even on and deal passive damage over time. She also gives a flat, I think it was 600 attack buff to everyone, even the bang boo. Then we have Nicole, 
She's also S tier, she gives 25% increased ether damage to the team and also defense shred debuff and she's also free. You can get her just by playing the game. Then we have Sokaku. He has long lasting buffs that give 20% additional ice damage. And on the other side, I think uh, Sokaku gives 1000 flat attack that can be transferred to the next character that switches in after. So basically, Sokaku is really, really good in ice teams. Like for example, Sokaku, Ellen Joe and uh, Lycon. In A tier, we have Anbi, the only free to play stun character and the go to choice for the team building for those who don't really have any other S ranks or just started the game now. Then we have Koleda and Seth. Koleda has a couple of invincibility frames in her combos and Seth is very good at uh, buffing the team with high buffs and debuffs uptime that are also easy to apply. In B we have Rina and lastly in F alongside Corin we have Ben. But wait a minute, Rina, even though she's a bit lower, she's definitely strong. She provides penetration ratio that helps you ignore defense. Uh, she can also suck up enemies with her assist skill. She's a weird off-field DPS support kinda. And Ben, he's also getting stronger if you do manage to proc his counter attacks. Overall, the fire team here have potential. It's just that they uh, are harder to play. Now the new version 1.3 comes I believe November 6th, so it's just around the corner and we will get two new characters. In phase one, uh, Toshikiro Yanagi or something like that, an electric anomaly s rank chick and in phase two, Lighter. I believe both of them will be as strong as our previous new characters, so I expect Yanagi to climb all the way up to S tier and Lighter I guess we'll have to wait and see, he's going to be a stun unit. From the 1.3 special program, he looked nice, but his combos are very close ranged and we already seen that mid to long range distance tend to do a bit better as they don't need that much time to get up close and personal. That's it guys, that's all I had to say. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Like, follow and subscribe if you want to see me again. Bye!